All right. Yeah, I'm just now, well, you know what? Sometimes simple is better. I'm just going back to the camcorder, not all these funky whatevers for now. And um, I'm still going to go down that road, especially when um, I, I don't know what I'm going to call it. Uh, pre, or like a little analysis of the fourth army thingamajig. And the set, well, maybe I'll wait until I do the second army uh, one up two up here a bit. Um, so, anyways, here we go with the second combat. Uh, huh. Or did I write it out? I thought I had. Yes, I did. Okay, goody. Whew. I was getting a little worried there. I was like, oh no, because I, I just realized that uh, I um, ended the note taking for. Um, these guys with their uh, die roll modifier that they're going to need for the attack. Okay, so here we go. So it's the Russian 4th Army versus the Austrians. However, I don't know if you guys remember, but according to the Katowice uh, Conference Agreement, any units, including the Austrians, anyone um, west of the Visloka River here is under uh, Germans. And at this moment in this sector, it's, the, um, it's Corps Command 1. So these Austrians are actually um, under German uh, German command right now anyway. So that's who they're following orders from. Anybody east of the Visloka, that's all Austrian-Hungarian uh, control. Okie dokie. So number 18 here with the four strength points under the 4th Army control is uh, the 47th Infantry Division. They've got two strength points. The 280th in, uh, Infantry Regiment with one and the 279th with one and basically what I did was I shifted that's why I said that we've now even opened up more of a hole here there was only a uh, just this one hex hole and now it's even opened up more and then I shifted I should brought um, divisional breakdown well I'll show it to you later but anyways it's just you get the point so now I've got four here they're going up to uh, against here uh, oh darn it I didn't um, take out the uh, supply point here hold on I was just mentioning in a uh, comment there that uh, I was about to do um, the video here. I was like, wait a minute, you had two cups of coffee and only one piece of toast. And uh, if you think you're going to start fiddling around with Alberto markers and trying to video and so on and so forth, you can forget it. So I just had some of a uh, bit more food. Oh yeah, where are you going to 14? So there we go. So that... As you can see here, so that's one, two, three, four. Um, they can ease, they're well within range, well, that's the range, and um, four supply, uh, four strength points, you need one supply point, boink, done. Uh, but they are going to be attacking across, completely across the river, so the Austrians are going to have the river bonus, and it's number 42. I'll uh, that's the 100th Landwehr Brigade. Uh, and that's um, 20 and they'll be um, also defending across broken terrain. So uh, here we go And they've only got one strength point the under, uh, 100th landwehr brigade when it comes up to that And like I said, they're uh, defending across a minor river and broken terrain so that'll give uh, in total these guys a minus three uh, die roll modifier Excuse me because of the minor river minor river for uh, that'll be minus two and then the broken terrain is um Minus one, and these guys will get a uh, plus one die roll modifier for their counterattack for the minor river. They don't get anything for the broken broken train. So here we go, and you're darn right. I'm going to be using the whatever, the two things because uh, I don't really see any other way around it. If we want to start doing some attacks, where the heck did I put my things though? Oh shoot! Oh, there they are. Whew. Is it going to move? Okay, so we don't need to show the terrain results. Uh, I think this is actually, look at this, how much easier this is too without having to look at things upside down and so on and so forth. So here we are again with the 4 at a minus 3. So I'm going to be trying to get rid of that, whatever. Um, yeah, it's probably not going to work again. Um, I'm not going to get emotional at this moment in time. I've just been so... <laughs> So deflated towards this stuff, so I'm going with a flipping doubler for Christ's sakes. Okay, let's see if I can uh, not get too funky. Uh, how's that? Nope. Uh, but if I zoom out, there we go. 
And then I'll just zoom back in. Come on, man. 64, holy cow, what's going on with that number, man? Okay, so now we're at, oh yeah, I forgot to mention, yeah, I'm going for the, I'm trying to get rid of the die roll modifier at the moment. So now we're at the minus two. I'm gonna go with the doubler again. So no two and no four. Come on, man. 32. So we're up to minus one. Uh, we'll go with the sock and I'm trying to go to zero. So as long as I don't get a red, we're good. Yeah, it's um, snowing like polar bears and penguins out there and uh, so I don't know if Zoe's going to be showing up today. She was going to, potentially, I didn't know. If it would, that would have been kind of cool because I think we would have done some uh, crafting and it could have been potentially uh, the very first tin whistling day like with both of us that would have been really nice I think okay zero okay we're back to this again man I need to go up to the five strength points as far as I'm concerned holy smokes hey eh? with the one I just remembered they've only got one strength point which means uh, I nail them they're gone Okay, so we're at zero now at the four. So I need a four, five, or six. 50, eh? Ah, shoot. Now I'm starting to get emotional again because it's getting risky. I'm going to go for the sock. Come on, man. And then, you know, sometimes I'm thinking, well, maybe, yeah, you won, congratulations, now you've stuck your neck out because the Austrians and, well, uh, well, the Germans, since it's their control. Ah, oh, for F and sakes, for F and sakes. Okay, let's slow down here because I've got to convert this into the, oh my God, this is going to be interesting, you know why? Nice little narrative, man. A nice little flippin' narrative. I'm gonna put this up. I'm already... So, the little brave little 100th Landwehr Brigade faces up against uh, two regiments and a half-depleted... Um, a half-depleted Russian division across the river. Yep. And let's see if they do something horrible. Is that good enough? I just wanted you to see a little bit of a... There we go. Yep, so that's the way I'm going to look at it. Okay, let me convert this. Hold on here. I'm going to make sure, because like I said, so it's going to be the Russians still are going to be f fighting at, which I think is a 0% chance. So they'll be fighting with uh, four strength points. And um, Minus three DRM and the 100th Land Rear Brigade, the Austrian dudes here are going to be fighting with uh, whatever. Well, they got one strength point, and they'll be fighting with a member a natural plus one because of the river, and they get um, what uh, the Russians were going for. Which was a uh, three, two, one. So they're uh, they're getting a plus. So now they're a plus four to their die roll. Oh my god! And they get a plus one to their strength points at the end. Not uh, I don't con you know do it now. And uh, they also will not be um, having any of their uh, their counterattack uh, will not be supplied. Again, there's no one here that can uh, supply them. Uh, it's the same as the one that was uh, in the first combat. Anyways, let's uh, do the roll, or the 0% chance of a roll, I think. Uh, so f so that's four, yeah, forget it. Um, let's just roll for the hell of it, eh? Let's just roll for the hell of it. So this is the... This is the Russians sputtering out a one. Oh my god. 
something fierce. Holy Lord Lifton. Okay, so the 100th Landwehr Brigade does not have to retreat. And uh, so that'll be. Hold on here. So they're uh, one, one strength point. They're halved because um, um, they're halved because uh, they're unsupplied. So it's 0 0.5, 0 0.5 times 3 they, because they, they didn't have to retreat. So that's uh, 1.5 uh, rounded up to 2. Uh, I now give them a 3 for counterattacking strength points with a plus 4. I hope that's right. Makes sense to me. This could be a very, very bad day. Well, it has been an, an atrocious turn for the Russians, let's be honest. November is not turning out very well. That is for sure. Oh my god. Oh my god. This is going to be an awesome narrative. I can't wait to think about this later on in my little... Uh, when I'm wandering around doing other things, I'll just start uh, having a building a narrative for the 100th Landwehr Brigade. I'm gonna have to go and look them up for sure. Okay, so that's uh, what did I say? That was uh, three with a six. So the maximum they can do is two. So they did two hits. So half the uh, half the uh, force is wiped out here, um, which means someone's got to go. Uh, the reason being is, remember, I did this divisional breakdown like a bunch of maniacs here, and um, you've got the 48th Infantry Division with two strength points, so they've got to take one at least. Then you've got the 280th Infantry Regiment with one strength point, and the 279th with one strength point. These these guys right here. Let's see if yeah, you're good there. Um, so I'm going to roll for, uh, is it the 280th or the 279th that goes? Because I'm going to keep the 47th. Here we go. So 1 to 3, it's the 280th. And 4 to 6, it's the 279th. And this has just been a grim. I still have the second army left. But that's the newly appointed uh, Nikolai Protopopov. Um, so we'll see if he's... Uh, Learned his lessons from what the hell's been going on all the way down the line up here. Oh, and then it's Operation Luther, and it is going to go mental. Absolutely flipping mental. Okay, so the 280th Infantry Regiment has been uh, eliminated. They're gone. And, um, like I said, half the... Uh, the remaining uh, bits of the 47th, uh, the Russian 47th Infantry Division is gone. And now I just got to go up and do the, um, see if you can see them, I'll zoom out a little bit. No, I think I zoomed out all, yeah, this thing's just, I just got to get a better tripod, but, oh, you can see them, I think. Oh, good. Hold on. So yeah, the second army up here, up, up in Warsaw, I've got to uh, start moving, uh, some uh, things around here, but this has just been uh, interesting, to say the least. All right, and uh, all right, bye. Hope you have a good Saturday.